Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have got a Mother's Day card featuring some new products from the fabulous new Mother's Fathers and Florals release, brand new from Simon Says Stamp. Some gorgeous backgrounds, there's stamps, there's dies, there's some sequin um, packs, all kinds of fabulous things. I'm gonna be using the large Cora background with the mom and dad icons, stamps, and coordinating dies, as well as the little princess sequin collection. I'm going to start by removing the foam insert from the Misty. I've got a five and a half by four and a quarter inch piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock here, and I'm removing that foam piece from the Misty so that I can use my cling stamp with this. There is really no better way than a stamp positioner like this with your big backgrounds. If you want to get a perfectly stamped background, a stamp positioner tool is just a must have. So many times those are so, these big images like this are so hard to get a good impression with and this makes it so fantastic. So I completely stamped this piece of paper with that great big background. This is fantastic, so great for maybe if you want to do embossed resist techniques or uh, watercoloring over it or water stamp the image in, watercolor it just straight on. I'm going to do a little Zig Clean Color Real Brush marker watercoloring and I stamped and embossed the image with Versamark and white embossing powder because it really kind of helps me cheat. It's gonna give me these little wells in which I can watercolor so easily. A few days ago, I did a background where I stamped the image with black ink and I colored everything in with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. No water. I didn't have to worry about it migrating other places, um, but I loved it. It was time consuming, but I ended up really liking the whole process. It was just fantastic. So when I came to working on this card, I kind of wanted to do something similar. The other background took forever. It was, like I stated in that video, it was one of those that you aren't going to do all the time. It's not something you're going to create multiples of. Neither is this card really. This one didn't take near as long, but this is a special occasion card. This is a mom I love you kind of card. You don't need a zillion of these cards. And so I really don't mind doing this. I know that my mom will appreciate a design like this. She will know the work that went into it and she will love it for the beauty of it. It's one of those things that's really fun to create. A little tip to help if you're gonna color something like this with the white on white embossing, it can get a little tricky to see where you are at. Something that really helped me was I started kind of there in the middle with those hearts. Those were what jumped out at me in this whole design. So I started there and I kind of worked my way out. And then I started with the little hearts. Because the hearts are so super easy to see, they're a great starting point. I like to lay down a little bit of color and then blend it out with my water brush pen for that awesome watercolored look. There's some little dots here. I'm even gonna pull in a little teeny tiny bit of yellow. There's tiny touches of green, a little bit of yellow, and then there's gonna be a little bit of blue in the background. But the majority of the colors in this card are shades of pinks and purples. The little bit of added punches of color here and there just add interest to the whole design. So adding little bits of water, even to these little teeny tiny pieces. So what helped was kind of working from the center and working my way out. And I had gotten just a little too far out, so I'm gonna pull it back in and make sure I finish filling out this center section before I go any further. And that is going to help because you start to see the image take shape. In fact, at one point, I really felt like I could stop the card design right there and it would look fantastic. It, it would almost be like a highlight where the center of this image is the highlighted portion and the rest is all with that white embossing powder. So once I kind of get out here just a tiny bit further before I get to that bigger pink, bright pink design, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll show you where I got to that point where I thought I almost could quit. So right now it's still pretty 
uh, mild, pretty light. You can see I only added a tiny bit of blue there. I wanted to, I tested it out because I thought, man, I really hope I'm not ruining this. And definitely not. Now I did not water down this Haze Blue Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker simply because I did not want the water to run all over the place and ruin anything else. It is so light that it is perfect for this. It's great for highlighting the embossed area. And instead of being big or bold blue, it's just enough tint of color to make the embossed areas really shine. It really shows you the shape of all of those teeny tiny little areas. The great thing about these markers is they're so super forgiving and they're so easy to color with. I really colored this fairly quickly. Compared to the other card I shared here a week or so ago, this went together way faster. Um, I don't know what the big difference was, but it just did. And I think it might have a little something to do. I used a few less colors, did a little less blending, Maybe it was the water color or whatever, but it just didn't take near as much work to put it together. So much fun. If you love to color, these new backgrounds can be fantastic for that. If you're not much of a colorer, there are lots of other ways to use these stamps. Tone on tone, like I said earlier in the video, embossed resist, where, where I could have taken this panel and taken my ink blending tools and distress ink and inked over this and had gorgeous backgrounds in no time. Right there was where I could have finished. I just held it up there just a second ago. It would just kind of be a highlight of this gorgeous floral right in the center. I could pop that on a card and do everything else that I did to this card and not do anything else. I chose to color the entire panel. I wanted the whole thing. Now this pink, unfortunately, I'm just a little bit out of frame. I'm sorry about that. I'll flip it here in just a second. But I am coloring in those big strips. They're almost like these beautiful ribbon strips all the way around with the pink, really highlighting it. Again, trying to work my way out very slowly, keeping working in small areas so that I keep the color and the pattern going, flip it around, move it around. You can color as much or as little as you want to. You could definitely just kind of nix the whole water brush pin and just stick to the zigs and blend with your zigs instead of adding the water. I like the water simply because I think it softens the look a little bit. It waters it down, spreads that ink out. If you want it to be a little less bold, I think this is the way to go. I will finish coloring this all in. The corners are just a repetition of a lot of what happened in the middle of this design. So instead of videoing all of that, I kind of cut that out simply because it's repetition. If you, if I used the sugar almond pink and the pink markers for certain areas in the center, I used them in those corners. The corner designs are just a repeating pattern of what went on in the center. If you look at the stamp, it's got these little uh, designs and it looks like they've been cut off. So it looks like a repeating pattern. And so I wanted it to definitely appear like that on my card, almost like a piece of pattern paper that you've just trimmed down and placed on your card base. I think this would be beautiful if you didn't want to cut it down and you went ahead and kept a large square sheet of paper, you could even make a square card and I think that would be stunning. So I'll finish off these corners here. Next, I am going to stamp some images from the mom and dad icons. This is a fun stamp set where you can maybe, instead of using the O for mom, you can put something else. You can use a heart or a baby buggy or a camera, um, beer mug, especially. I'm, I'm sure that's maybe for dads, but moms like beer too, right? So you could use anything. For this card, I used the flower because I thought it would really coordinate awesome with the design that I'm using for the background. And I stamped everything on Bristol Smooth cardstock so that I could use those same colors of zig markers that I used for the background to color in these designs. The only difference is I didn't use my water brush pen here. I wanted the letters to remain a little bit bolder so that they stand out against the background. Plus, 
To help them stand out even more, I'm gonna put everything on a vellum strip so that it slightly mutes the background and really makes my greeting pop off of this. I went over everything with the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pin, which makes it glittery. The only thing you wanna keep in mind with this is that it does pick up the color since these are water-based markers. So clean off your glitter brush pin often. On a vellum strip, I am gonna stamp one of the smaller phrases from the mom and dad icons that says, to the absolute best. I will go ahead and heat emboss that with white embossing powder. I love the look of white embossed greetings and phrases on vellum, and it also goes with the theme. I think if I would have done this in a different color, it would have really taken away from the soft, springy look of my background and of the card. I also stamped Happy Mother's Day from Mom and Dad icons on the inside of my side fold card base kind of finishes off the design. So the front reads to the absolute best mom on the inside, happy Mother's Day. Just a really gorgeous, gorgeous way to present a Mother's Day card. And I love that this set, when Father's Day rolls around, there are some fantastic Father's um, Day greetings and different things. And you can create something similar, only just switch it up because probably a floral background might not be what you're going for, for a dad card. To help my greetings pop off even more, I did create some dimension by adhering all of my images to fun foam. That's gonna make them pop off of that vellum strip just a tiny little bit give them a little bit of dimension without too much bulk. I'll go ahead and trim any excess. I left my vellum strip long. I'm gonna cut off any excess there on each side. I'm gonna round the corners with a half inch corner rounder. I'll do the same for my card base. This is a side fold card base, also from Simon Says Stamp. I can't create without my card bases. They're fantastic. They're ready to go, which is always good for me. Um, I love having them just at my fingertips ready to make a card. I'll go ahead and attach my panel now to the card base. I must have missed a little bit of vellum. I need to trim a tiny bit more off. Now the two ends of the vellum are flapping around and kind of moving a lot. And I'm going to show you how I fix that. I want to do one last thing to finish my card, and that is to take some of the new Little Princess sequins and attach them to the design of the card. And part of that design goes under the vellum. So I'm going to actually put the sequins on top of the vellum and hide a glue dot underneath to hold that down in place. So you see how I'm kind of putting them all around what I call that pink ribbon that really shows the design of this background. I can hide my adhesive underneath those two sequins on those two ends and really dress up the design. So I've got three on the left, three on the right, and then I'm gonna go and add some more of these little flowers from the Little Princess sequin set or collection to a few more places on my card to finish it up. And that will finish up my Mother's Day card. Thanks for joining me for this Mother's Day card featuring stamps and dies and sequins from the new Mother's, Father's, and Florals release from Simon Says Stamp. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Simon Says Stamps and Dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.